We were a pretty diverse group, but we all had life controlling issues. I started a business, graduated college, and got married and had kids all in sobriety. It took me a month to lose all of it. Some of them landed us in prison, and some of them just imprisoned our hearts. And most people in this room don't understand what live free really means. Because when you're fighting an addiction, or chances of going to prison for the rest of your life, because you're so stuck on that addiction, it's, it's mind boggling. But what I found out by listening is that we're all the same. When I started this group, I realized that having, having support systems, having places to, to, to go where we could have resources, or even getting to know people in, in the church community that really care about us, knowing that people are out there that really love us and care about us as human beings. That is one of the things that helped us the most, was having a, a group that was there to, to support us, uh, to pray with us. Because if I didn't find living free or the church that I go to, I'd be out using drugs. And the one thing that ties all of this together is Jesus Christ. I found God in that group in some ways that I didn't understand. I can't say that I get up every day and I read the Bible, because I, I still don't. But I'm getting better with it. I'm learning, little by little. And I'm learning to find myself again. But I wouldn't have been able to do that without this group. Well, the Living Free Group has just helped our church in a lot of ways. Because we have reconnected in a, in a greater way with our community, with the, with the whole community of faith. As if the, the jail chaplains didn't go into jail and give a Bible to somebody like me, would I ever read it? No. If they didn't take their time to, to help somebody in jail, that like most people would think, oh, they belong there, they're just scum. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a father, I'm a son. I'm just like everybody else. It's just I made really bad choices. So it's the people who made the impact.